Hello pre-med stars, this is Corey again. So the question is, can I get into medical school with a low MCAT or GPA? And the answer is absolutely. So medical schools, when they look at an applica applicant, they're looking at several things. And so everyone knows one of the, some of the key things is, of course, the MCAT and of course the GPA. But medical schools are also looking at the holistic approach. They want someone who is going to not just have the, the grades and academics, but also who's going to have the community service, who's going to have the research, who's going to have the leadership skills. And so if you do have an uh, MCAT score that's not as high or GPA that's not as high, you want to make sure you have something else in your application that's going to show them that you really deserve a spot in their class and that you can bring something else to the table. And so that was the case with me. And so for my MCAT, my MCAT was not good at all. It was something I definitely would not brag about. But I, and I, so I knew that that area was something that I was going to have to work on and have to compensate in other areas. And so what I did was I had a lot of leadership positions and I had a lot of community service. And so those are kind of some of the things I kind of just emphasized on. And so I made sure that that was, uh, I, had a, I had a lot on. And so that can kind of compensate for my lower MCAT score. And another big thing is I did this uh, summer program at a medical school. And at that program, uh, I actually did very well in the program. And they actually, when we got our evaluations back, the director said I was the top performer in the program. And I also had the, the best evaluation from my peers. And so this really helped me because I got uh, interviews at two schools. And at the, one of the schools was this school I did this program at. And one of the things they told me was like, so Corey, we understand that you don't have the best MCAT score, but we saw you for six weeks and we know that you'd be a great asset to our program. And so I just tell you guys to really just take advantage of these opportunities that you have when you get them. So let's say you go into a summer program or you have an opportunity where you're talking to a program director, just really try to take advantage of that opportunity because you never know these same people could be the ones that can really uh, be the vouching for you, letting you know or saying that, okay, we really want this guy or this girl into our class. And so just remember, GPA and MCAT are important, but it's not everything. And there's plenty of people that I know personally who are in medical school and not just in medical school, but also thriving in medical school who had low MCAT and or GPA. But I do want to let you guys know that uh, getting into medical school is hard. So it's going to be extremely harder for you if you do have a lower MCAT score or a low GPA. So the best thing is, especially if you're younger, just to make sure that you're putting in the work so you don't have to be in that position. You want to make sure you have the highest GPA and the highest MCAT possible when you're applying. That's going to really put yourself in a better position of getting in. And so, like I said, we, I can give you examples of people who do get in with lower MCAT scores and lower GPA, but you still want to make sure you do your best and so that will not be a problem and so just continue to work hard and you'll be fine.